Hi everyone! Welcome back to Stamp Cat Stamps where I share with you the things that I learned from my stamp collection. It is fall here in Canada. The leaves outside are all changing color. It is beautiful. It is the perfect time of year, at least in my opinion, to sample some bakery treats and also do some yummy and delicious extreme philately. The set of stamps that we're looking at today is from the Sweet Canada series, issued on April 17th in 2019. This series features stamps of quintessential Canadian desserts. Each dessert is from a different region of Canada. The sugar pie represents Quebec, the butter tart from Ontario, Saskatoon berry pie from the prairies, Nanaimo Bar from the West Coast and the Blueberry Grunt from the East Coast. I'll be sampling some of these and doing some delicious extreme philately starting with Ontario's Butter Tart. The Butter Tart supposedly originated here in Ontario, but this fact is somewhat disputed. The first published recipe of the Butter Tart is in 1900 in the Women's Auxiliary of the Royal Victoria Hospital Cookbook, which is in Barrie, Ontario. But some sources say it's actually a variation of Quebec's sugar pie that was modified by the young French women, the Filles du Roy, when and they immigrated to Quebec in the 1600s and had to modify their cooking with what ingredients were available. These were young marriageable women who were sponsored by King Louis XIV to move to Canada and basically find husbands of the settlers who already lived there and start new lives and increase the population. The king paid for the travel expenses of these women as well as their dowry. So it attracted a lot of lower income women who were looking for an opportunity to better their circumstances circumstances and start a new life over in Quebec, which at the time was New France. I have never yet tried sugar pie, but I do want to. The sugar pie and butter tart do seem very similar in appearance, besides of course one is a tart and one is a pie. Both of them include the main ingredients of sugar, butter, eggs, and a pastry, but the sugar pie includes flour in the filling mixture, which butter tarts do not. Butter tarts also have similarities to the American pecan pie, as well as the British treckle tart. So who knows if those desserts also played a part in the origin story of the butter tart. Regardless of where they came from, these were a classic part of pioneer cooking here in Canada and are extremely popular throughout Ontario today. You can find butter tarts at many local farms and bakeries, as well as even some varieties at the grocery store. There is even a huge butter tart festival in Midland, Ontario every year, which attracts over 50,000 visitors and includes judges and competitions for the best butter tarts. Today we're gonna head to a local farm near our area called Strom's Farm and try some of their handmade butter tarts. So let's go try it out. nearby local farm to our home and about to try their original butter tart. The nice thing about butter tarts from local bakeries is unlike the grocery store ones, they don't have corn syrup. Um, so it's made authentically with just sugar and butter. So the butter tarts I've always had before have always been from the grocery store. Mm. The butter filled center really comes through. It's nice and soft in the middle, but not too runny or not too gooey. It's so delicious. What do you think, boys? Mm. Wow, it's really good. What do you think? Do you like it? It's 
another day. We are back at home and ready to try the second dessert from the Sweet Canada Stamp Series, and that is the Saskatoon Berry Pie, but with a little exception here, which I'll show you. So what are Saskatoon Berries? They are also known by June Berries, Service Berries, Chuckle Berries, and Shad Berries. And like the name Saskatoon Berry would suggest, they grow best in the prairies regions of Canada and the United States, which includes, of course, Saskatoon and Saskatchewan. I got this pie just from our one of our local grocery stores called Farm Boy. You can actually find three out of the five desserts in the stamp series for sale there. So if you're ever around a Farm Boy and want to try out some of these Canadian desserts, go for it. Saskatoon berries looks like a blueberry almost, but kind of a more reddish wine color. And apparently it's way more hyped up in nutritional values. So per berry, Saskatoon berries are are apparently like loaded with nutrients and antioxidants as compared to blueberries. As you can see, so this is actually a Saskatoon berry and rhubarb pie. And also, like I mentioned, this is from the grocery store. So this pie has probably been like pre-frozen and shipped. I'm not sure how that will affect the taste compared to like the real thing that you could get in the prairies, but this is the closest that we can get. So we're gonna cook up this pie, take some extreme philately and try it out. So after that little photo shoot, I am ready to try the pie. I don't think I've had a Saskatoon berry before. Let's see how this is. Mmm. I'm really hit with kind of this like, like sour taste, but I'm kind of wondering if that's just the rhubarb. I'm gonna try digging out just a berry and eat that by itself. The berries have these like Seeds that you can taste, like kind of bigger seeds than what you would get in a blueberry. I see what people mean. I don't know if I said this earlier, but Saskatoon berries are actually more related to apples and pears than blueberries. I do kind of taste more of like a pear kind of taste rather than like the tartness that you get from blueberries. To be honest though, a lot of it is just kind of covered up by the pie sugar filling, but it's still pretty delicious. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish my little piece of pie and then we'll see what we get to eat next. Bye for now. Good morning. So we are about to try our final dessert from the Sweet Canada series. Today we are trying the Nanaimo bar, which is the dessert from Western Canada, Nanaimo in BC. Interestingly, I was looking up there some controversies about the Nanaimo bar. So as you might have noticed, there's a little bit of a difference in the proportions of this Nanaimo bar compared to the stamp. So the Canada Post stamp has been criticized for having too much of the custard layer. And then also once the New York Times posted an article that had way too much of the base layer. So this is apparently the correct proportion of Nanaimo bar. I've heard it's very, very sweet, so I decided we would have it in the morning with some coffee. All right, let's try it out. I don't think he can wait another second. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. You know, the best way might just be to bite it. Let's try. Wow, whoa. It's definitely very sweet. Mm. So I really like the coconut layer in the base. The top chocolate layer is like sweet but bitter. It might be like the bitter, you know, cooking chocolate. And then the custard, I don't know. So the custard is where a lot of the sweetness is coming from. I don't think I've had a Nanaimo bar before specifically, but I have had similar little like chocolate pastries, like just served, you know, with those like catering companies, like at the end of a, a meal and you go grab a dessert. Nanaimo bar is different. I find the graham cracker and chocolate coconut really unique at the bottom. I believe they were first published the recipe for it in a cookbook in the 1950s, I think 1952, the Nanaimo Women's Auxiliary Cookbook, something like that. At that point, it was just called a chocolate bar. Later, it was coined Nanaimo Bar in a news article that came out in 1953. And then later, Nanaimo Bars became most popular when they were published in a cookbook. 
that kind of got around or, or did famously. I saw this funny um, news clip when I was trying to research a little bit of info about these bars. It basically said that the fact that they were termed Nanaimo bars kind of gives them their catchy name and that if they weren't called that, it wouldn't necessarily be so popular. One interview I saw, the, the lady said Nanaimo bars are kind of like the Kardashian of desserts. They're famous because of their name or they're famous just because they're famous. <laughs> bye bye! Okay, I gotta go. I hope you've enjoyed this series of taste testing some different quintessential Canadian desserts with us. I know I certainly have. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now! Bye okay. bye! Bye bye! Thank you! Happy collecting! This is a Nanaimo bar. We will. There are actually quite a few controversies about Mommy, the ratios of... Stop, I will cut you a piece. <laughs>